what up broskies so thanks for tuning back into the channel so this is part two of the rack opinion rack and pinion so today i'm gonna show you guys why i couldn't uh finish the project so my motor mount was actually hitting and squishing the i believe it's the high power side uh, but yeah, you can see it right there. I don't know if you can see the squish mark right here, but yeah, I got to reinvent my motor mount. So it's going to be in this same location. Uh, I might, I'm not sure if I'll cut anything off. Uh, just make the plate that it's a little bit notched just to clear that line and then just run up, run a tube here and then move, keep it here but make an extension on this side so i could basically attach it straight uh besides that i gotta cut the steering shaft uh shorten it maybe four inches what else oh yeah i ordered uh an a n uh conversion fittings for the high end low side of the power steering rack but after looking at the room i have i don't have much to play with so i think i'm gonna return what i bought and buy banjo fittings and that way it could just be directly this way for the low side and the high side i'll probably put it under the chassis down here but yeah let me start cutting up the old motor mount redesigning it should be fairly easy right finish the motor mounts I'm not a welder all I did was tack weld it and right now I'm about to head to Tommy's shop for him to actually TIG weld it I'm using a flux welder you can see right there oh yeah good to go homies now I have a little bit more access to the fittings We made it to the warehouse where the homie has his uh, fabrication shop. If you guys watched the uh, Lemonade, you know where he came to pick up the 280 or 240Z that they gave to him. This is Tommy for all of you that don't know. He's a man that has done every single fabrication on my truck. And the only person I trust. <laughs> All right guys, so we're back at home. Here's the motor mount. It's all welded up. Thank you, Tommy. I'll put his Instagram down below so you guys could hit him up for any type of jobs. He's also the one that welded my diff. Uh, but yeah, let's get this on. All right guys, so there was a few things that I will have to change. Uh, with the new motor mount, let me show you guys. With the new motor mount in place, I actually raised up the motor a little bit. So that actually caused the intake to hit the oil catch can. So I'm gonna have to move the catch can maybe half an inch to the passenger side. But you see that everything's going nicely. So this is the 92, uh, let me focus, okay. So this is the 92 plate. It's only being held on by two screws because, or two bolts, only because that's the only thing that bolts up. The rest of the bolt pattern on the 92 and the 87 are different. So that's there. It's already connected to the steering column inside. 
this I might have to cut it well first measure then cut and then sleeve it but let me show you guys the inside so I already mocked up everything there's the two bolts not sure if you could really see all right I fixed the camera settings so you guys could see so you see the two bolts one right there one up there those are the only two that line up uh, that's the bearing that uh, stab fab gives you I already have it connected to the steering column and I also put the dash on I mounted this to the top like that and I sat inside so I could see where I want it and now I gotta make a bracket that goes from these two to the original mounting location which I measured and I'm gonna have to do an inch and a half uh, adapter so I could mount the steering wheel where I want it so I'll maybe do that in the next video it's already getting dark so yeah if you guys have any questions I mean go ahead and let me know I'll be more than happy to help you guys with what I can obviously but yeah so this is coming out pretty good honestly so the only issue I'm gonna have is headers so originally this wasn't gonna hit or the steering shaft wasn't gonna hit it because i was gonna mount it lower i was gonna modify the plate but then i was thinking about it why am i gonna waste time on this when i'm gonna get a different manifold i'm most likely gonna do a t3 turbo uh but that's for a later time. It might not happen this year, maybe it will, not too sure. But I don't wanna waste time fabricating this when I'm just gonna toss the headers away or give them away. At this point, I'm tired of using those headers. There's a lot of problems with them and I'd rather just get rid of them. But yeah, I'm gonna have a either turbo or turbo manifold here and yeah. So I don't wanna waste time fabricating that when I'm just gonna get rid of the headers. So I'll rather make this work and just hammer and give some love to the headers and call it a day. Cause I mean, all in all, I truly am pissed off with those headers. I'm done with them. I don't want to rock them anymore. So yeah, whenever I do the actual turbo setup, whoever wants them, pick them up. If not, then I might raffle them off. Maybe five bucks a ticket. I mean, that's how much I care about the headers. Like, they're worthless to me. But yeah, so this is gonna be a straight shot right there. I might have to do give or take four inches and that will connect it all. And then I'm actually gonna change these to banjo fittings, but I just gotta wait. <laughs> I already got my old cooler. I'm not sure if you guys saw it. Let me grab it for you guys. I think I put it in the top drawer. Yeah, I did. So this is my power steering cooler. I got it for 25 bucks off of Amazon. It's 6 a.m. dual head. It's a six row, but it's plenty for this. I might install maybe a four inch fan just to help a little bit, but all in all, it doesn't really need it. But yeah guys, it's almost there. If you guys like what you guys been seeing, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps me out. If you guys can, do me the favor of sharing the video as well. I'm trying to grow the channel. But I hope you guys enjoy what I actually film and do to this truck. Because I get good feedback, I get bad feedback. It's the world we live in, but I'm loving this project. So... Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the rest of the other episodes. Latest.